What's going on people? Guns blazing back at it again. Bring you my level 40 Chaz and Jaden farm deck starting with Chaz. And this one's a pretty straightforward deck. Right now I'm running with balance because I wanted to level up my Alexis, but I do prefer running it with uh, dual stand Baggio for the most consistency. And also restart is good. So it's pretty simple to play this deck. You want to get your Dark Paladin out as soon as possible. And uh, in this case, Balance can help you do that because it allows you to start off with exactly three monsters and one spell. Then hopefully you don't draw into one of your combo pieces, namely Secret Passage or Union Attack. But yeah, that's a risk that you take when you're running Balance and that's why I prefer Dual Standby or Restart. You know. Anyways, this is exactly why we have Dark Paladin. Because if he tries to use his Lightning Vortex, you just straight up negate it. Now let's talk replacements. You don't really need to have a 3 King of the Swamp. It would be optimal in case like you're running balance and then you uh, pick up Union or Secret Passage. Then you have a chance to draw this and still pull out a Poly. But he's not necessary. Just replace him with Fusion Substitute monsters. Such as, uh, you know, Versago. Goddess with the third eye, Mystical Sheep. The dragons in this deck, such as Mirage Dragoon and Blue Eyes, you can simply replace with uh, any dragons you want. Doesn't really matter. Fusion Recycling Plant, you don't need to run either. Just run Polymerization or Fusion Sage. But if you're running Fusion Sage, make sure you have at least uh, two polys. You can also run Fusion Gate if you want. I like Recycling Plant because... Uh, it allows me to recycle the materials. And at this point, I'm gonna drop this guy, my poly back from my hand, to my hand, sorry. And then I can fuse it out, get my second fusion monster out. Now, you only need two monsters out. If you have a Dark Paladin, it doesn't matter what second monster you get out. So I know not a lot of people have their second Dark Palagio, so in that case, just get out. Buster Blader the Dragon Destroyer, hopefully you have them. They are in the same box and they're both ultra rares in that box. But if you don't have Buster Blader the Dragon Destroyer, let's just say Dark Paladin at 1 is completely necessary, you can't replace them. But the second fusion can be whatever you want as long as its attack points are high enough so that it's not destroyed by his armed dragons. And that uh, you know, when you combine it with Union Attack, it's going to boost your Basal over 10,000 points. So we're just passing over the turns. The hardest part of this farm was already finished a long time ago when he popped his Lightning Vortex. Another problem card could be uh, his Megamorph, but usually uh, he won't get to pop that because your life points will be the same unless he pops Dragon's Gunfire. Or you know, if he attacked you directly because you didn't get your fusion on the first turn. That could also happen. As you can see, when I dropped my own Mirage Dragoon, it allowed me to boost up my Dark Pelage. And when he drops uh, dragon type monsters from his hand, as you'll see here, it also boosts my monsters up. So that's uh, that's why Dark Paladin and Buster Blader are the best fusion monsters for this deck. If you don't have them yet, I strongly suggest that you invest in uh, Dark Paladin and King of the Swamp because you know they just make farming these new characters a lot easier. I literally farm Chaz, Jaden, and Alexis using a variant of this Dark Paladin deck, so. Alright, last turn coming up. All you gotta do is get your Vassal onto the field. Secret Pass, Union Attack, and go for game. Now, the reason I don't attack his monsters is, first of all, he has a spell. I mean, he has a trap that allows him to destroy a monster on the field. If you destroy one of his face-up monsters... I know that none of his monsters are actually face up, but that's something that you have to be careful about. And also, I don't really need to attack because I'm going to get 8,000 points anyway, regardless of whether I destroy any monsters, so it's pretty much just a waste of time. You can attack into his monsters if you want, just be careful that you're not attacking into any face up monsters or he's going to pop his trap to destroy one of yours. Dual Vic. Yeah, that's an easy 8,000. Alright, next up we got that Jaden farm. 
Yeah, this guy is more difficult than Chaz because he can mill himself out. So you gotta add cards that mill yourself out or add cards from his graveyard back to his deck, namely Pot of Bene. Dual Stand Bajo, as I said, is more consistent than, uh, what's his face? Restart and Balance because the extra card just adds so much more consistency. Plus, you can use the extra card as Negate Fodder as well. That was a pretty fortunate hand we got here. We got that Sinister Serp ready to get recycled. And we got our Dark Pelage on turn 1, meaning that we can uh, negate all of his problem spells. So the spells you want to negate are Polymerization. You don't want him to get his fusions out at all. Negate that on sight. And uh, he also has stuff that boosts his monsters up. So if he tries to put a Heated Heart onto his Neos, you gotta negate that. If he plays Skyscraper, you gotta negate that. Fusion Sage, you can let it slide. Although, if he has two polys, it's gonna be very annoying right now. Fortunately, he doesn't. Now, for Jaden, you can attack into him. No problemo. It actually increases your chance of winning because... It potentially stops him from fusing because you send his fusion materials to the grave. And you can pop his negate attack, meaning that you can uh, you don't have to hold on to your storm anymore. You can use it as discard fodder if you need to negate a spell. Now, if I pop my fusion recycling plant, I wouldn't have had this problem of drawing it right now. So that was a misplay on my part. But I'm just going to keep attacking space. So Stratos is one of his cards that can pull cards from his deck. As I said, just negate his poly on sight. Drop in my Sinister Serp first. Got another one, I don't care. So when you have Fusion Recycling Plant, you can just drop your polys like it's nothing. Either of these would be fine too, because we have uh, plenty of Fusion Substitute monsters in the deck. And as you can see, Sinister Serp just keeps coming back to be reused over and over again. I'm gonna go ahead and get my second poly. I mean, it's the same poly, but I'm gonna get my second fusion out on the field. So as I say, you don't need to have two Dark Paladins. You can use Buster Blader if you want. Uh, I'm not gonna attack into any of his monsters that are in attack position. I don't wanna damage him until the final turn because uh, otherwise you're gonna forfeit your 1000 effect damage only bonus. Oh, Oversoul, you don't have to worry about. Don't bother negating that. It's everyone's favorite golden boy, Elemental Hero Sparkman. He's not my favorite golden boy, I'll tell you that much. I'm setting a monster. Alright. Gonna keep attacking. And hopefully I draw either Emblem of the Dragon Destroyer or my Pot of Bene so that I can put cards back into the top of his deck. There's that Emblagio. Hopefully I still have a Buster Blader in my deck. Yep, got one. Tins B out by one card. At this point, I don't really have to attack his monsters. But if you don't think you're going to hit 8,000 points, just keep doing it. You should easily reach 8,000 points with this deck, though. Almost there, boys. Dark Factory, uh, pretty much let that slide. I can negate it if I want to, because I just have so much negate fodder now. My Storm isn't even needed anymore. So there's Pot of Bene. Go ahead and return his cards to his deck. Preferably Monsters. And Oversoul is, Oversoul is fine too. I don't want to return Stratos or uh, Blazeman, because they both thin out his deck. I'm getting lazy to attack now. Just want to get this barb done at ASAP. You get the point right. Okay, so he gets his Neos out on the field. Again, you don't have to worry about Oversoul. He's probably going to play Heated Heart now. Yep, and that's what you have to negate, or else uh, he's going to be able to attack over your Dark Pelage. I'm going to drop that Serp because we can recycle it the next turn. 
He has a face down, probably his single trap card in his deck. So you do want to attack to try to trigger that. And attack this right here. Is he gonna pop it? Yes, he is. And at this point, you don't need Storm anymore. Now you may be wondering uh, why we even need Storm if we can just pop his trap by attacking. The answer is he doesn't always pop it. He could hold on to it if he wants. And also he could set it on his turn before your last turn. Meaning you're gonna have to find a way to destroy it or else you're not going to be able to finish him off. Get your Vassal out. Secret Pass. You know the drill, double union. And attack him in the face for game. But yeah, that's it for this video. See you guys tonight on the stream. We're going to be ranking up all the way to King of Games, already at Legend 1, so be sure to check it out. Might play some fun decks, might play some tryhard decks, we'll see. That should be 8,000 points. Let's see what we get. Hopefully a Flute of Summon Karibo. Still need to pick up a third one of those. No, oh, show me them Prisma Packs. Hey. To the fiery